Greetings, everyone. It's me, His Majesty, Jamal McRae from the McRae Kings. And I just got finished watching an episode of um, G-Status, ATL Hustle. And I have to say, I was really, really disappointed um, in some of the characters on there. I'm just not going to leave them nameless. I'm, I'm going to leave them nameless. But there's one character that in particular I need to send a message to, and that's delicious. You made an, um, now on the show tonight, she used the N word several times and she played the trans card. And what I mean by that is, is that Delicious seems to me like a person that she plays the trans card when it's convenient for her to get out of something. And that's not cool. It's trans women like you that are giving the other trans women in the community that do, are doing the right things, that want to be well respected, that want to be able to walk down the street without being ridiculed. It's trans women like you that make it hard for those trans women that walk in these streets right. Now, you made an apology, some type of apology at the end of the show. But you know what? I don't accept your apology. I don't. And black people, let me just say this about all these white people that make these these racist statements and then they want to apologize for it later. We need to stop accepting apologies from these people because they don't mean it. They really don't mean it. The only thing they're concerned about is their image and what money they're going to lose. What they, what their it's going it's going to cause their bag to be smaller than what it was before. So stop accepting apologies from these people. She does not mean what she said at all. The only reason why she apologized is because she knows that she got a lot of support from the black community at one time. And now she wants to come back and backtrack and apologize for it. Don't apologize for it. I don't accept your apology because it wasn't sincere. It wasn't concise. There was nothing about your apology that was meaningful. And black people, let's stop. Let's stop. We've been accepting apologies since the 60s. I grew up in the 50, in, in the 60s and the 70s. And all we had, all these things that these people have done to us, these are these things that they have inflicted on us, on our community. They've killed our people. And then they get up in the courtrooms and they get up on these platforms and they apologize. And we sit here and we accept their apologies. And accepting their apologies is just like accepting what they do. Because I guarantee you, you put Delicious in another environment and she's going to do the same thing again. The very same thing again. And let me just say this about what she said about Charlie and about having sex with him. If that be the case, so what? Big deal. There are many trans women that have sex with other, with, 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 with other um, um, homosexual men. There are many trans women that have um, sex the, um, in a way in which we may or may not agree with, but they still have a dick and they use them. I know a lot of trans women like that. So what's the big deal? What's so big and bad about Charlie having sex with you? And that was a that was if, if it if it did happen, that was a, that was a moment between you and he. Who cares? And be let's be clear. If you if you sold your ass to Charlie for $50, then who looks like the poop putt bitch? Yeah, I said poop putt. I guess you don't know what that means. But anyway, that's all I had to say. Delicious, I don't accept your apology. And I don't accept the apology of people like you that want to kowtow and, and backstep and tap dance and go back and they want to apologize for the things you did. You shouldn't have done it in the first place. You shouldn't have said it in the, per in the first place. Hakeem had every right with whooping your ass. And I'm telling you, anybody that ever calls me a nigga, they got an ass whooping coming for them too. No shade. I'm not a violent person, but I will get violent if you call me a nigga. 
With that being said, I'm going to sign off. Always walk in love, peace, sunshine, and happiness. And remember, it's Team McRae all damn day.